Rays and Jays from north of the border. David Price looking for career win number 10 against Toronto. But how about some early run support coming against Brandon Morrow? And first pitch is drilled to deep right field. Turning and looking is Batista. And the move up in the lineup pays off. Ben Zobris with a two-run homer. And right away, the Rays lead 2-0. That call courtesy of WDAE. Zobris hits his second of the year. Rays looking for more. Evan Longoria going deep to right field, but Jose Bautista leaps into the chain link fence and right to rob Longo of a base hit. Bottom first. It's Price in a little bit of trouble. Bautista gets a ball through the middle to score Yunel Escobar, and the Jays are on the board. 4-2 Rays, bottom five. Price in another jam, but Adam Lynn grounds out the second to end the inning. Top six, Matt Joyce stepping in against Brandon Morrow. And Joyce will go deep in a right field, turns the 96-mile-an-hour heater around and sends it out of the ballpark. Solo shot for Joyce, his third of the season, makes it 5-2 Tampa Bay. Two batters later, Sean Rodriguez steps in and drills it deep to left center field. That ball will also leave the yard. Another solo shot, first of the year for Rodriguez, and it's 6-2 Tampa Bay. Now back to David Price, bottom sixth facing Rajay Davis, gets the strikeout looking, but then Price would allow a base hit, and Joe Madden would go to his bullpen, five and two-thirds, two earned runs allowed for the star left-hander. Let's jump to the ninth. Base is loaded for Luke Scott in an 8-2 game. And that pitch is launched way up into the air in right field. Batista to the warning track. He's at the wall. Grand slam. A grand slam for Luke Scott in the ninth inning. They'll all score, and it's 12-2 Rays. WDAE on the call once again, and that would prove to be your final 12-2. The Rays win it, four home runs and all behind David Price, who improves to 4-0 all-time at the Rogers Center. Meanwhile, Brandon Morrow takes the loss, six earned runs across six innings pitched.